Hey guys, Jamie me today on Roblox. We're playing some more pet battle simulator as you can see on the screen right now. And today, also, we are trying to go for the new secret pet that is also in the pilgrim egg. So, also, yesterday's video, we went ahead and we got some of the new. We got basically, we got every normal shiny pet in it, um, as you can tell by the um, shiny wall chicken or turkey, even. Not chicken, although, let's be honest. Turkey's worse chicken, I don't care if you think turkey is better than chicken, your opinion is wrong. Okay, it's just dry chi It's just dry chicken, okay? <laughs> anyway, though, today we want to go for the sh uh, secret pet. Also, not going to go for the shiny one in this one, because also we need 10 of them. That's going to take a while. So today, though, I want to try and at least get one of them. If we have multiple, that'll be very nice, but also, let's go get one of them, and we'll max level it. And other than that, the only thing that we really need to do, then, is like also start grinding for the... Uh, shiny version and try and get um this new mastery cranberry pet which also we i keep saying obviously as well i'm i'm sorry we're like almost halfway okay so pretty good so with that being said let's start grinding so i'll be back whenever we get it okay then we are back okay so obviously that means we got the secret pet although we didn't just get one we got two. I actually got one on my main account and my old account, which is very nice. So I'm actually trying to figure out where it is. This is it. Um, so also, the uh, Cobbscon was the like first legendary. The second legendary was the uh, the Wild Turkey, I believe. And now we have uh, the Warrior of the Harvest. A very long name for a secret pet, but I I mean, eh, I I'm fine with that. So also now we have this one. And the stats are actually pretty good. I mean, 325, it better be good for a secret pet. So, now let's go ahead and unequip two of these um, Cobbed Con. Okay, we're, we're done with the Cobbed Con. We are now upgrading to the Warrior of the Harvest. So, these are the new secret pets. As you can see, I have two of them. Like I said, I traded, them, uh, traded one of them over from my alt account. So, now we have two of them. So, actually, let's go take a look at these. Because I am curious to see like how big they are compared to like, other pets. Kind of hoping that they're kind of big. But, um, I guess we'll see. Um, oh yeah, that's actually a sword. Okay, open Discord back, so I mean do that. They have a sword, I was wondering what that was on the back. If you look at like this, I thought, oh, it's just part of its outfit. No, it's actually a sword, I I, I see it now. Dang, look, it's dual wielding? Oh, heck yes. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, also not like a giant. I think it's a, I think it's just like a cobbed con, a, a cobbed con, right? Just like a little bit bigger. So very nice, obviously. So now that I have two of them, we just need eight more of them, which um, is going to be the hard part, unfortunately. To try and get, like, another eight is going to take quite a while, because also I've been grinding for quite a long time for, to get, actually get one of them. I got two of them lucky, but it makes sense, also, since I got them, um, like, one on each account, so that is very nice. Although, obviously, before we um, actually, like, finish the video, let's actually have a look, see what we actually get now. So, for boost total, also, for, like, having every egg collection, like completed for all of the normals, all of the shinies, all of the limited ones, all of the limited shinies, and then also we have now the normal secret pets for all of them, and also we, we just, we're just we basically just missing the shiny version of this warrior pet for the egg collection. Um, also we get like another like 1.05 shiny chance, which I mean I personally don't really care about the shiny chance, which is a little unfortunate. Once we get the shiny one, we will get another 10% luck, which is very nice whenever we get that. Uh, so yeah, these are my stats right now, 18 pet experience, which we haven't really got pet experience for a long time. That's completely fine with me, because I don't really care about pet experience. 38% damage, which is very nice. I would like to get some higher, because I get to rebirth quicker, because right now it's taking such a long time, I can't really, like, spend anything. We've got 15 pet experience, or pet inventory even. I don't really care about it, like I was, uh, another shiny chance boost, which is now 1.71, uh, which is pretty good. Almost two times now, which, um, in probably, like, a, what? If this is 0, 5 for a sh for a secret one, for the limited one we get uh, damage, that's also luck. Do we get anything else? Like, oh, it's just like normal ones, I guess. What about the shine ones? Is this luck as well? Damage, luck, yeah. So it's, I guess it's actually not going to be that like, anytime soon. Um, if we get like a normal egg with a secret, we will get like 8. So we're basically looking at like, I think, 3 updates, maybe 4 updates to get... Like two, from from at least myself to get a um a two times shiny chance, which also came in handy for um the last video for me getting this um shiny wild turkey with hatching it. I didn't even I I'm 
think I made one, but I hatched one shiny as well, which is very nice. And yeah, also the best stat that I have is 154% extra luck, which also is amazing because it lets me get uh, secret pets even quicker. So every every update, if you can get the secret pet, um, well, not really the, the normal, but the, the shiny one. But every time that you get like a, a luck boost, every time that a next egg comes out, it's a little bit easier to get the um, secret pet since you mostly need luck since it's not like um, a thing that you can just like keep opening the egg like um, they are right here, like the uh, guaranteed one. So you can't get any guaranteed secret pets, which it would be cool. I'm, I'm, ju I'm, ju I'm, ju I'm just throwing it out here, man. I'm just throwing it out there. Like, maybe like once you complete the entire egg, maybe there's like a... I don't know, like, I think the, I think the secret pets are, like, one in a hundred thousand. I think it'd be kind of cool, like, maybe having the guaranteed ones, like, instead of, like, being, get like, okay, for, like, for these ones, it goes from, like, your normal legendary. Once you've co completed that one, um, then it goes on to your second legendary. Um, and also, if there's, like, well, in Pet Run Simulator 2, it goes on to, like, the divines and stuff like that, for, like, the rarer ones. For this game, though, like... I don't, I, don't, I don't want the guaranteed secret pet, but I'm saying they could potentially like have a, oh, you've done the best legendary one. After you've done it, instead of restarting you from the legendary, let's give you like a one in a hundred or a one in a thousand chance for you to potentially unlock the um, the secret one. And also once you fill, also it's going to be like way more than this, like maybe 50,000, which I mean, some people might not want because they might want the um, guaranteed one of these so I can actually like get shiny versions of the turkey. So... I don't know if it's like a good idea or not, uh, but like, oh, it's like a one in like a thousand chance. If you get it, if you open up so many more eggs, you get a guaranteed secret one, and then it re-rolls back to the normal legendary, and then when you also get back up to um, this legendary and you complete it again, it'll just reset it back to this one and like give you a chance to have a guaranteed legendary, if that makes sense. But I don't think it really needs to, because like I said, some people that want the secret pets, but like, don't have time to, like, open, like, I don't know, like, 50,000 eggs all the time just to, like, try and get one. Uh, although it would be kind of cool, just saying. Um, but also, some people might just want the uh, wild turkeys, for example, or just, like, normal legendaries, just, like, try and get more of them to get secret ones. Or not secret, shiny ones. So I can, like, basically fill up the team for the event. So it might be a bad idea. Um, but just run out there, that could be kind of cool. Like, just having, like, a very small chance once you've done all of the... Um, guaranteed ones you might get a chance to like have a go to get the guaranteed secret one if you want to complete it or not uh so yeah also like, i guess they could also nah i was gonna say they could have, have like a, a robux options like oh do you want to skip this guaranteed pet but it doesn't really make sense because you're meant to get the guaranteed pet for free if you spend robux and they they don't want to just hand you the pet just completely making it pay to win um also like it's kind of paid away with also the other game passes but i mean with the two times luck i don't really buy get boost anymore because the two times luck on weekends is just so helpful that's why i like get most of my secret pets but yeah um I, it's not really any point in seeing like a robux to like skip them because like they, they don't want to like make it so you have to spend robux to get them but then if they make it so like you spend robux you don't get the guaranteed one but you basically skip onto the next one the rarer one that also doesn't really make that much sense, so I guess like there's nothing really else that can do it. They just have it as like a really good system right now. But for the secret pets, since those aren't a thing in the um, Pet Run Simulator and Pet Run Simulator 2, because all of their pets are um, guaranteed, even the super, super rare ones, like one in a million ones, the divine ones. Um, I mean, but yeah, in this game, I think the system is completely fine. But for people that want to grind like shiny ones on their own, oh, I do have two accounts obviously grinding. Uh, it takes a long time, and like I said, I mostly like grind during the two times luck, uh, just leave it on like all day basically whenever I'm not recording or playing another game. So I mean, yeah, all on that low, um, I guess we'll leave off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. There is the, um, actually no wait, what am I talking about? We need to level this up. I've been ranting, but it's level 20, so I guess before we end it off, we also want to go level it up and see like how good it actually is because um, when we first got it, I think it was like, what, 31,000? So I mean... Let's go level up to level 50. So I guess we'll be back now in a second. I'm going to go buy some double XP. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't take me too long since I've already basically done half of it. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, Lynn, we are back. I don't know how I didn't. I forgot. I was actually about to end the video that uh, before I get the level 50. But hey, here we are. Max level. And also now we have... Actually, it's not even better than this one. Um, It's not even better than the Thanksgiving feast, which um, I'm kind of actually surprised about. I thought it would be slightly on par but not really it's quite a while quite a bit away from it but i mean even the dual drumstick one which um interesting so fifty-four thousand. i mean 
It's all right. I'm going to be using it because it's better than the um, the cobbed corn for both of its stats. So I'm, I'm going to be using them, but I thought it would be higher, to be honest. Um, not honestly as high as this. I mean, this is the, still the best pet I have. But yeah, all in that low, there is the level 50 version of it. It's still pretty good. I mean, I'm also wanted it for the turkey, obviously. So now we can uh, go ahead and just start grinding turkeys like mads. I mean, right now we get like almost 9 million from that, which uh, is very nice. We're going to grind a lot low. As you can tell, we still aren't really like too close. We're not, we're getting a little bit closer to the halfway point. I feel like I didn't really like grind any turkey. I might have accidentally, accidentally turned off my auto click, which um, would have sucked if I did. But yeah, also on that low, I'm also going to end this video off here. I'm going to try and grind for the Mastery Cranberry pet for tomorrow. Uh, I guess we'll see because it might take me a while because... Um, Getting turkey is very difficult, if you, especially if you don't keep getting this chest, and I always keep forgetting it. So, uh, yeah, the only other way to actually get turkey without getting the chest is to just um, keep KOing the um, the bosses, which, like I said, if I had my auto click off, it doesn't KO the bosses anymore, which means I don't get any more turkey things. So, that might, I might have somehow accidentally turned that off. I don't know how. But anyway, that being said, I'll leave off here. I'll see you guys next time.